We got to shout out two guys though. Uh, we got a, We got a, another two thousand yard rusher, in Derrick Henry, and we got the first quarterback to run for a thousand yards in back to back seasons with my guy Lamar Jackson. So we got to we got to give them some props today. Uh, two hundred plus yards for for Derrick Henry today. Um, oh, can I, can we say roll tide on on um on that one? <laughs> well, we have to say roll tired. I mean, as well, can we? Can yeah. everybody get your roll on on that yeah. one as well? Because of 250 yards, two touchdowns today to cap off a 2,000 yard rushing season, amazing. Which I I'm a little bit nervous about going into <laughs> this wild card round because you know that was the team that gave Baltimore all that smoke last year. So I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that maybe he's run out of gas <laughs> at this point and he won't completely just go crazy uh, next week on the ground since he just ran, ran for 250 yards. Um, but I actually, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's, that's going to be crazy. But uh, the Ravens man and Lamar Jackson, I mean, they probably have one of the best rushing attacks over the past two seasons that we've seen. You know what I'm saying? With the with the variation of their running backs and Lamar Jackson, who's able to pretty much do the impossible whenever he has the football in his hands. Um, they turned it up the second half of the season as well because they had a little tough uh, stretch there for a while where they were out of the play uh, playoff contention. Um, you know, they had the big COVID issue where they would lost a couple of guys for a couple of key guys for a little while, a couple of injuries that affected the team. Um, you know, but again, shout out to Lamar Jackson, uh, first ever quarterback to rush four thousand yards in back to back seasons. I, we might he might get get the, get the three peak next season because he's still young. It's not like you know oh, he, he's that gonna part do of it. Game is, you know what I mean? It's yeah, he's, down. he's gonna do it again in his career at some point, whether it's next year or, or several years from now. He ain't slowing down no time soon. Um, I I think that might be the biggest game of next weekend. We know that the Titans eliminated the Ravens last year in the playoffs. They beat the Ravens this year in an overtime thriller where they came back actually, and and then uh, King Henry walked them off with a big touchdown run at the end to end that game in overtime. And it'll be interesting to see because we know Lamar has not won a playoff game. And if they don't play well next week and they happen to lose, is it possible that John Harbaugh's job could be on the line? Um, we know Lamar is is a transcending talent. He's already won an MVP in the league, like you said, he the thousand yard back to back rushing seasons multiple time pro bowler. He's one of the biggest weapons in the game. You've got to find a way to win next week if you're Baltimore. I, I just think if you're John Harbaugh, you have got to find a way schematically. I don't care what it is. You cannot lose three straight years in the first round with the type of talent that the Ravens have on their team. Yeah, because then we might have to be talking about is it time for for a new voice in in that Ravens uh, locker room as well. And you know, and Harbaugh is my guy. Got us to the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. Um, you know what I mean? And I think he's a great coach, but you know, sometimes you need that change. You need somebody, sometimes. somebody different. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they've built a really good team, but I think the area that they've lacked at is they still have not addressed the wide receiver issue. And I know they drafted Hollywood Brown, who who I think who is still is still get coming into his own and he still needs a little bit more time because again, he missed a lot of time his rookie year. Um, so, you know, they still got to build that chemistry, but he's, he's not enough at wide receiver. You know what I mean? Especially when you, when, when you look at the, the top playoff teams, like they all have at least one all pro caliber type of, of, of receiving threat. And I know Mark Andrews is a top tight end in football, but he needs those wide receivers. He needs somebody downfield that can that can help out and catch the ball. And Hollywood Brown is not enough. I know they've been getting some some juice out of Miles Boykin finally um, the past two weeks. Des even helped out. He, he he caught a couple of touchdowns this past couple of games, but that's not enough. Um, you know, especially when you're talking about Mahomes got Tyreek Hill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying to go along with his superstar <laughs> tight end Kelsey. Uh, you know, Drew Brees got got Michael Thomas, one of the best in, in football. Tom Brady got got Mike Evans, Chris Godwin and Antonio Brown. You know what I mean? So all of these teams got these crazy wide receivers <laughs> out there and they still have not put wide receivers around Lamar Jackson. You know, we don't want I don't 
as much as I like saying that, you know, he broke the record and got back to back thousand yard rushing season. I don't want him to have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because before Lamar Jackson was my, was my favorite quarterback. There was another running quarterback. That was my favorite quarterback. And that was Michael Vick. And, you know, we saw what happened when he had to overly use those legs. Injury started to hit, you know what I'm saying? As he started to get, to get older. And I don't want that for Lamar Jackson. So they're going to have to bring in some wide receiver help. Um, maybe they can get Julio Jones next season. Um, I know his, you know, he was a little bit banged up this year, but I think if they can get him, you know, without having to spend too much, um, because he's definitely going to be on the trade market next year, I, I would pull a plug on that without a doubt. I feel you. I mean, I don't want to get too far ahead on what they might do, because obviously they got a big game in front yeah. of them. And I think, uh, like I said, I view it as a must win for them. I agree. I, I haven't liked the weapons that the Ravens have put out there on the field aside from Mark Andrews. Though the running game is really good. Um, you know, I, I, I've said weeks ago, they needed a veteran receiver who knew how to get open on third down. And that's what they don't have. Um, but they, they've got it. Nonetheless, you know, you got what you got. You, they're hot right now. They've got to find a way to win next week. And I think their defense has to step up to the challenge. Their defense struggled last year in that game against Tennessee. Granted, the turnovers didn't help them because Tennessee was working with short field some of the time, but Derrick Henry really got his playoffs going in that game at Baltimore last year. They're going to have to make a concerted effort to make Ryan Tannehill beat you. I know it's easier said than done, but if you're going to allow King Henry to go for a hundred plus yards and 20 plus carries, it's, it's damn near guarantees you're going to lose that game. Yeah. So they, they got to figure that that part of it out, man. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 